Wonder Woman is finally hitting theaters, and it's a big moment for DC. This is their first female-led superhero movie. But wait, what about Catwoman? No! That didn't happen! And with the next chapter in this DC Cinematic Universe, you may find yourself saying, Wow, I really don't know that much about Wonder Woman. Well, I've got you covered. Here are some fun facts to get you up to speed. Wonder Woman first appeared in issue number 8 of All-Star Comics back during October of 1941. This was right in the midst of World War II and slightly after the creation of Superman and Batman, and she's been a big deal since day one. Her creation came from Dr. William Marston to set up a standard of strong, free, courageous women, to go against the idea that women are inferior to men, and to inspire girls to be self-confident and find achievement in athletics and jobs that were monopolized by men. Marston believed that the only hope for civilization is the greater freedom, development, and equality of women in all fields of human activity. So yeah, Wonder Woman has been an important icon to many people for a very long time, and it's about time she receives her due. So that's why Wonder Woman was created, but who is she? Where did she come from? What powers does she have? And how will it affect the movie? Well, her origin story is really interesting. Up until September of 2011, Wonder Woman's origin was that she was sculpted out of clay and blessed by the Greek gods to get her powers. And then when the New 52 reboot everything, it was explained that Wonder Woman was actually a demigod and her dad was Zeus. Just when we thought Papa Zeus had enough kids, Maury shows up to say, you are the father, and the whole clay pot story was just to protect her from Hera's wrath. Now I wouldn't be surprised at all if they hint towards this in the movie, because it easily explains why she hasn't aged since World War I. Now it should be noted that the movie does take place during World War I, but there was a very similar story arc in the comics where a pilot lands in Themyscira during World War II and then she leaves with him to help protect mankind, and this is where she takes the name Wonder Woman. Not sure why they changed the time in the movie, maybe so it didn't seem too much like that first Captain America movie? I don't know. Now. Going back to Zeus, you know those cool bracers she wears? Well, they aren't just for looks. These indestructible accessories are said to be made from pieces of Zeus's broken shield. So yeah, they'll stop a bullet or two. And since we're on the topic of accessories, you know that crazy rope she has? Well, there's a reason they call it the Lasso of Truth. You may know that whoever she has it wrapped around has to speak the truth, but did you know that the creator of Wonder Woman also invented the first lie detector test? Yup, that's where it comes from. Maybe not information you'll need about the character of the movie, but hey, that is definitely a fun fact. Next up in her arsenal is that crown of hers. Her sword and shield aren't the only thing she has that can leave a mark. Her crown is so sharp that it has been able to cut Superman. And yes, it's true she did have an invisible jet, but I don't think we'll see it in the movie. Though, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a joke about it. Also, you need to know that her real name is Diana and that she was born to the Queen of Themyscira. This place originally was known as Paradise Island, and yes, this makes her the Princess of the Amazons. Now, the Amazons are an all-female race created by Aphrodite, and they were created to protect humankind, but they eventually saw that man was not worth it and gave up on them quickly. That's what makes Diana going back to help them such a big thing. In the trailers, we've seen her go to say that she's Diana Princess of Themyscira, but is cut off at Prince, thus going by Diana Prince. Diana, Princess of Themyscira. Prince, Diana Prince. This is a nod to her origins. In one of her earliest story arcs, she actually exchanges identities with an army nurse named Diana Prince. In another story from the 60s, she had lost her powers and lived as Diana Prince working out of a New York fashion boutique. So, she's been a princess, an army nurse, a fashionista, and to add to her list of jobs, in 1942, she was the Justice Society's secretary, answering phone calls and writing letters while the team went off to fight Nazis. Yeah, she was not thrilled about that. Wonder Woman also has a bunch of powers, but I'm not too sure how many of them will actually pop up in the movie. 
As I mentioned before, she got her powers from ancient Greek gods. For example, she's got super strength, she can fly, even has super speed thanks to Hermes, and you know, even can talk to animals. And after she beat Ares and became the god of war, because that's how that works, she also got the ability to communicate with soldiers around the world. But how strong is super strong? Let's put it this way, Wonder Woman's strength rivals Superman. In fact, she's even beaten Supergirl and Supergirl has been described many times as being even stronger than Superman. So it's a good thing Diana and Superman are dating because if not, yeah, she could kick his ass. Now for some fun facts that have nothing to do with the movie. First off, did you know that in a Marvel DC crossover series, Wonder Woman was able to lift Thor's hammer? Yup, she worthy. In another crossover where Marvel characters got combined with DC characters, the X-Men Storm and Wonder Woman were blended together to form Amazon. Also, did you know Wonder Woman's original name was going to be Suprema, the Wonder Woman? Luckily, it got shortened down to just Wonder Woman. And finally, when the Justice League was first created in 1960, Princess Diana was the only female on the team. And I'm telling you, she's been an icon for women's rights and equality since the beginning. And I'm so glad that she's finally got her first film on the big screen. Thanks so much for watching all. If you liked this video and want to see more, let me know in the comments who else I should do some fun facts for. Guys, till the next time, I'll see you later.